Welcome to Exponential and Logarithmic Functions Lesson Number 5. We're going to evaluate logarithms now. And just for review, in the last lesson we compared graphs of y equals 2 to the x and y equals log base 2 of x. We learned that the point 0.38 on the graph of y equals 2 to the x, x as 3, y as 8, indicates that 8 is equal to 2 cubed. Now the point 0.83 on the graph of y equals log base 2 of x, indicates that the 3 is a result of log base 2 of the input value 8. The exponential form 8 equals 2 cubed and the logarithmic form 3 equals log base 2 of 8 are equivalent. In this lesson we'll learn how to evaluate logarithms like log base 3 of 8 without reference to a graph or a table. Let's take a look at Kelsey here. Kelsey was asked to evaluate log base 2 of 8, and her work is shown here on the left. And we're going to look at these steps and describe each in words here. So we have 2, uh, log base 2 of 8 is equal to v, and what she did was represent the log base 2 of 8 with the unknown value v. Very smart choice of v here, because um, it kind of looks like a y. Uh, anyways, uh, 2 to the v is equal to 8 was her next step and so what she did was she changed to the exponential form of the logarithmic form so remember that those two these two are equivalent then here she says 2 to the v is equal to 2 to the 3 so what did she do here she replaced the 8 with its equivalent form of 2 cubed and I think she used the common base 2 here, so she found a common base and then wrote that number in that base. And finally, since b, e, 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 or in other words, if the bases are equal, then the exponents are equal, then here she found that she compared the exponents here. Because the bases were equal, the exponents had to be equal, and therefore she could conclude that the original log base 2 of 8 is equal to 3. So she replaced then v by log base 2 of 8. Okay, let's take a look at class example 1 and try and evaluate the following logarithms. So we're going to use the same type of steps that Kelsey used here and say, okay, if this is log base 3 of 81, let's say that it's equal to un some unknown value v and now we can, can use the exponential form. We can say 3 to that v is equal to the value of 81. Well, let's take this 81 and rewrite it, if we can, into a uh, power with the base 3. So 3 to the v is equal to, I think, 81 is 3 to the 4. In this case, since the bases are equal, then the exponents are going to be equal. And therefore, we can say that v is equal to 4. If v is equal to 4 and v was equal to log base 3 of 81, there we can conclude then that log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. Okay, using those same steps, we can try b. Log base 4 of 64 will say that it is some unknown value v. And we can now change this into exponential form. So we can say 4 to that exponent v is equal to 64. Well, if that's the case, then let's change this 64 to a power with base of this same base, 4, so 4v. And 64 is 4, 4 squared is 60, 16, so 4 cubed, 64. Since the bases are equal, the exponents then must be equal. And therefore, this v should equal 3. And there now we said that v was log base 4 of 64, so we can conclude then log base 4 of 64 is equal to the number 3. And C, we have log base 7 of 7. So here we say it's some unknown value v, and we have 7 to the exponent v is equal to this 7, 
the argument, form argument. And now here, it's already written in the same base. But what is slightly hidden is the fact that if it's 7 with no exponent, then that exponent is going to be 1. Since the bases are equal, the exponents are going to also be equal. So here we have v is equal to 1. And therefore, since v was equal to log base 7 of 7, that's equal to 1. In part d, in part d we have log base 12 of 1. And we want to evaluate that. So we're going to say some unknown value v. Here we're going to change exponential form 12 to that exponent v is equal to the value 1. And here, is it possible to change this number and make it so that it is written as a power with base 12? Hmm. We have 12 v to the v is equal to 12. Now this 12 to the 0 is equal to 1. Remember that one of the exponent rules was a number to the raised to the exponent 0 is equal to 1. And so here, since the bases are equal and now the exponents would be equal, then v is equal to 0, and v was this, so we can say and conclude that log base 12 of 1 is equal to 0. So these two will become quite important because we'll see them often, is that we have log base of a number of the, that same number is going to be equal to 1, and log base with the argument of 1 will equal, be equal to 0. We'll see that a few more times. Let's attempt class example 2. Now, as I said, we'll see this a couple more times, and there it is. We have log base b of the value 1. If we want to determine the value, we'll say that that is some unknown value v, and then we'll change to exponential form. So b to this v is equal to 1. And now we want to change this number 1 to a power that has the same base as that one. So we want to change this to b. Now b to what exponent is equal to 1? That's going to be 0. So we have b to the v is equal to b to the 0. Since the bases are equal, then the exponents will equal, which means that v is equal to 0. And therefore we can conclude then that log base b of 1 is equal to 0. Well this is quite interesting because it's saying that this variable b, this base could be any any valid base. So it could be 1 or, or so it could be 2 or 3 or 4 or 10 or 100 and with the argument 1 that it log is going to equal 0. Okay, we have this log base b of b, and notice that this space is the same as that argument there. We want to evaluate that, so we say it's the unknown value v. And now change to exponential form, we have b to the v is equal to uh, this b, this b goes to there. And here again hidden is that b with no exponent is exponent 1. Since the bases are equal and the exponents would be equal then, then v is equal to 1, and therefore we can conclude that log base b of b is equal to 1. Well, this is also very interesting because it tells us that log with any base here, any valid base, if the argument is the same as the base, then the log of that expression will be 1. Log of base 2 of 2 is equal to 1, log base 3 of 3 is equal to 1, log base 4 of 4 equals 1. Well, that'll be useful. Let's take a look at class example number 3. We're going to evaluate these expressions here, and we have a number in front as well in this, in this case. We have 2 log base 8 of 5, 12. So here we can say that that is equal to v, and therefore, before we go on, we're going to try and isolate the log expression itself. So we don't want anything to be multiplied by it. So here rearranging, we have log base 8 
dividing by 2 on both sides, we have log base 8 of 512 is equal to v over 2 now. And here, we can now change the exponential form. So using that base 8, we have 8 to the exponent of now v over 2 is equal to 512. Now before we continue with solving for this, we can say that we can find, well, perhaps just by speculation here, we can say, well, what if this number was a power of this base? Could 8 to the raised to some exponent equal this number? Well, it's very possible. Let's see if we can find 8 squared to 64 and times another 8. Oh, this 512 can be written as 8 cubed. So if we have 8v to the v over 2 is equal to 8 cubed, we notice the bases are equal now, and so the exponents must be equal. We have four, uh, v over 2 is equal to 3. And now we can solve a simple equation. We can say that v then is equal to 6. In that case, we can say that 2 log base 8 of 512 is equal to 6. In part b, we have log base 2 of the fraction 1 over 32. And so we want to evaluate that. We can say it's the unknown value v. And change to exponential form, we have 2 to the v is equal to 1 over 32. Now, is it possible to change this value to a power with one power with the base of 2? Well, I think we can. We can say 2, remember 2 squared is 4, 2 to the 4 is 16, 2 to the 5 is 32, but it's 1 over that value. Now, remembering our laws of exponents, we can say, and check as well, that 1 over 32 can be written as 2 to the exponent negative 5. Well, in that case, we have 2 to the v is equal to 2 to the negative 5. Therefore, we can conclude that v is equal to the number negative 5. And therefore, oh, remember we use the property that if the bases are equal of these powers, equal powers, then the exponents would be equal. And therefore, we can conclude then that this log base 2 of 1 over 32 is equal to negative 5. In part C, we have log base 5 of the square root of 125. I believe that this square root goes across there. And so here we want to evaluate that. So we say it's the, the unknown v. Now change the exponential form. We have 5 to the v is equal to the square root of 125. And now our challenge then is to create this value into some power that has the, the base of 5. So inside it, we could say, if we just dealt with the number 125, we could say that 5 cubed was equal to 125. 5 times 5 is 25, times another 5 is 125. And so we're almost there, but we also need to recognize that the square root means taking, raising to the exponent of a half. So we have really 5 cubed, but it's raised to the exponent of a half. So here, continuing on, 5 to the v would be equal to, using the rule of power of a power, or power raised to the exponent, we multiply these exponents, but keep the same base. 3 times 1 half is 3 over 2. And there we can see now, since the bases are equal, then the exponents would be equal, and we would have v is equal to 3 over 2, which then we can conclude that log base 5 of the square root of 125 is equal to 3 over 2. And there you see it. We can conclude that log base 5 of square root of 125 is equal to that v, which we found to be 3 over 2. Let's take a look at class example 4 and evaluate 5 to the exponent log base 5 of 25. Now this does look complicated. We have 5 and in the exponent is a log expression, but don't be 
don't be afraid. We will take a look at making this equal to 5 and then looking in the exponent kind of like a magnifying glass or focusing in like Google Earth and just focusing on this part here log base 5 of 25. So here just to do some extra work on the side we can say let's say that v is equal to log base 5 of 25. So as some side work, we can say then that exponential form would be 5 to the v is equal to 25. This 25 can be rewritten as 5 squared. And so if that is equal to 5 to the v, then v here would be equal to 2. OK, we said that v is log base 5 of 25. So taking that whole value then, we could say that's a v. And so we found that v was equal to 2. So that's equal to 5 squared. And that 5 squared equals 25. So we're saying that 5 to the log base 5 of 25 is equal to 25. Well, this is quite interesting because look at this number here and compare it with that number there. That's quite interesting. Again here in part 2 we have 7 to the exponent log base 7 of 49. So again we're going to make it like this 7 and take this whole thing and make it a v. So we're saying that say that v is equal to log base 7 of 49. I don't know if you can see that. So then 7 to the v is equal to 49. Replace this 49 with a power of base 7, 7 squared. So 7 to the v is equal to 7 squared, which tells us the v is equal to 2. Okay, now since we said v is equal to 2 in this case, we could say that 7 and this v is now replaced with the number 2. 2. And here, this is equal to 49. So we conclude then that 7 to the exponent log base 7 of 49 is equal to 49. Well, again, it's very interesting. We have this number 49. And take a look at that number as well. It's the same number. Let's take a look at another example. Here in part 3, we have 3 to the exponent log base 3 of 27. So we're going to say that's equal to 3 to the v because we're going to say that v is equal to log base 3 of 27. Changing that to exponential form, we have 3 to the v is equal to 27. And here we're going to take the number 27. So we're going to let v is equal to log base 3 of 27. And exponential form says 3 to the v is equal to 27. Now we're going to change this 27 to a power with base 3. That's 3 cubed. And here again we have bases are equal, so the exponents are equal because they're equal powers. v is equal to 3. Well, if that's the case, then coming back here, 3v is 3. 3 cubed is 27. And again, very interesting that 3 to the exponent log base 3 of 27 is equal to 27. And again, you find it interesting that those two values are the same. Well, based on our observations from part 1 to 3 and from A to C, then can we say what is the value of A to the exponent log A to the n? So here we can say A to the exponent log base a to the n, if we were to say that we have just let, let v equal log base a of n is equal to, then a to the v is equal to, in exponential form is equal to n. Actually, I'm going to backtrack and say, well, here a, a to the, the exponent log base a of n, we found is equal to n. If you recognize this familiar 
situation from all of these examples, it's equal to n. Now, how can we explain that? Well, if we say that we're raising a number to an exponent, we can say base, raising a base to an exponent and taking the logarithm to the same base, those are inverse operations. So they cancel each other out. So you can think, you can almost think of it like this. So use the exponent that you would use to put on a to get n and use that as the exponent for a, then what would you end up with? n. So let me try that again. So here, this, this whole thing here as the exponent is the exponent I have to put on a to get n. So remember, v is equal to log base a of n, right? v is the exponent that I have to put on a to get n. So here, if a v, a to the v is equal to n, then take that v, the exponent I have to put on a to get n, and use it as the exponent for a. Well, what are we going to get? We're going to get n. All right, in part c, we're going to determine the value of log base a of a to the n. So here we get, again, we have log base a of a to the n. Let's use the same strategy that we did before, exponential form. If we say this is some unknown value v, then if we continue on, we say exponential form would be a to the v is equal to a to the n. Then to find this value, here we use that the powers are equal, the bases are equal, so the exponents will be equal, v is equal to n. So then we can conclude then log base a of a to the n is equal to the value of n. We said that v was equal to this, and we found that v was equal to n, so those two are equal. But what is this saying? This is saying taking the log of some base and the base of raised to a certain exponent is going to equal that exponent if the base and this base are the same. Or in other words, when we talk about logs, we're talking about an exponent. So here in this section, we're saying take the exponent that I have to put on this base a so that I would result in the power of a to the n. Well, what exponent do I need to put on a to become a to the n? Well, that exponent is n. Let's talk about evaluating logarithms by changing the base here. Let's start with this log base 5 of 50. And let's try to evaluate that. Well, we could say that we have log base 5 of 50 is equal to some unknown value v. Exponential form says that 5 v, 5 to the v is equal to 50. And here we're going to try and write this 50 as a power of 5. So we can say 5, well 5 squared is equal to 25. 5 cubed is equal to 125. And 50 is in between there, um, but we don't have an exact value for that exponent. Well that is the problem that we encounter. It's very difficult to find that exact value of v. In other examples previously we were able to find values of v that were you know rational and uh, and exact. Well let's take a look here. Let's choose the correct alternative. The exact value of log base 5 of 50 is, is here. Could it be between 1.5 and 2? Between 2 and 2.5 or between 2.5 and 3? Well we have this here to help us, we have 5 squared is equal to 25. 5 cubed is equal to 125. So we know for sure it's between 2 and 3. So it's not this one. So x that out. And we think, well, 5 cubed is, is quite high. It's 125. There's a 100 difference here. So 50, I would think, is closer to this one, the 25, than to... Um, the 125. So since it's closer to this one, I would probably say this is the one that I would choose.
we could use our calculator and make some guesses. So we could say, all right, well, if we had, you know, we could say 5 squared is 25, 5 to the 2.5 is equal to 55. So we know it's less than that. So we could say 5 to the exponent 2.3 maybe, and uh, that's too low. 5 to the exponent 2.4 is closer, and then 5 to the 2.45, we tried that. And we get a little bit closer and closer and closer in guessing. But, you know, back when they were inventing logarithms, they didn't have calculators to do that. So it was very tedious to do those calculations. So right now, we can't evaluate this by converting to exponential form. But we can evaluate the logarithm using a calculator by changing the base to a base that the calculator recognizes. So here we're going to introduce what's called common logarithms and natural logarithms. So when we're talking about common logarithms, we're talking about logarithms that are in base 10. So here it means that the base here for the log would be down the bottom, or in other words, in exponential form, we'd have it's the base here. Now these logarithms are in such common use that when a base is not given, the logarithm, logarithm is understood to be in base 10. For example, instead of lo writing log base 10 of 1,000, they would just write log with no base shown of a thousand. So when you see no base, then you have to assume then it's base 10. On a graph calculator, this can be evaluated using the log key. So I'll show you where that is. So the log key is right here. There's the log key. And when you press on it, then you'd find it looks like that. So here, if we said log base, uh, log of a thousand, remember that it doesn't show log base there, and it's equal to three, which is what we expect. So here, when we're talking about class example five, we're going to evaluate log of one thousand by converting to exponential form. So here, we're going to say log of one thousand is some value which we don't know, and remember that it's not. The base isn't shown here, but so we assume that it's 10. That means exponential form says 10 to the v is equal to 1,000. And changing this to a power with base 10 is 10 to the 3 is equal to 10 to the v. So therefore, v is equal to 3, and therefore log of 1,000 is equal to 3. Okay, if we use a log on a key or on a calculator, just like I did here, uh, press log, and then 1,000, and close the bracket, and we get, ah, 3. So here, log of 1,000, then is equal to 3.